If you're working on a project with other developers and you're collaborating with other people, there's a feature inside of Unreal Engine that you can take advantage of called the Developers Folder, which actually may help you um, during your production. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to enable that and the advantages and disadvantages of being able to use that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into our scene. Now to show our developers folder, all I need to do is go down to view options and show developer content. That's it. It's done. Video is over. You can go on and move into it. No, just kidding. There's actually a couple things that you really need to be considerate of when using the developers folder and when you would want to and when you would not want to use this folder. So if I go over to our actual content browser, you can see here that here's our developers folder. So again, if I turn this off, show developers content, it disappears turn it on it's there okay so why would you want to use the developers folder well the one thing that's generally recommended is that you use a developers folder for your own personal research and experimental and test work only now it doesn't mean that you can't put assets there but be aware that the general idea is that your developers folder is uh, a place for everybody who's on your project now when they launch the project and create the developers folder it will automatically create a folder for you based off of your pc's name so everybody who has one they'll have their own there so by default that only resides locally on the machine that you're working on so for example if there's 10 people uh working on a project and i've only got one folder that's actually pushed to source control Everybody will have their own individuals, but nobody else will see it. There's a caveat. We'll say that here in just a second. So be aware that that developers folder that always resides in your project. Okay. Next thing that we need to be considerate of is that it's really meant the developers folder is really meant for your own personal work. Generally speaking, it's a good idea that when you're loading content, you can put stuff in your developers folder, work with it, do whatever you want to. And then when you're ready, actually move it to the project folder itself, or you have somebody who's appointed who's making sure the project stays consistent, you got your folder structure, yada, yada, they'll pull it out, put it into the folder. Um, you can do that as well. Again, there's a caveat with source control, which we'll cover here in just a second. Okay, the other thing too to think about with the developer folder is that, you know, it really is more of a sandbox environment for you. Again, that isolation, you can use it, put your own stuff in there, do whatever you want to it, and then push later when it's ready to go into the project. Okay, so the caveat being if you're using source control. If you're using source control, you can push that developer's folder, and for all intents and purposes, it's just another folder in your project. So there's really not going to be any inherent advantage to using developer's folder over the others other than for your organization. So then you could know, hey, if there's 10 developers or there's 100 developers, you can go through each of theirs and actually see what content's in there. Again, move it over to your main project is absolutely fine. So again, with source control, it's slightly different because you can still push those files. But again, you should absolutely use the developers folder more for sandbox testing. And then when you're ready to actually push your assets or your content, move them into the main project uh, folder structure so you can do that as well. So there you go. So that's the developers folder. Again, nothing super fancy, but a, a fun little hidden feature. Again, in your view options, content, show developers content, and that'll pop up that little developers folder and you can add it there. So fun little trick. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.